because I want that smack and hammer. So now, flip it up. Hey! Star piece. Nice. And then there's one more in the blue cell cage where we saved Petuni and the other, uh, and the other, um, punies. So we go up here. I do kind of wish we had, like, a, a speedier way, like, a, a speedy way to run around in, like, we did in the first game, where you could, uh, um, where you could run around and, uh, do, like, the... There we go, right inside the cage here. Sweet. Uh, where you could do, like, the, um, the spin dash kind of thing from the first one. But, you know, say lovey and all that. Okay, so those are the those are the two that are here though that were here in the tree. I'm also gonna go around and get all the other flip panels that uh, we uh, can now activate because we have the uh, we have the super boots. Because there there are quite a few around before we start before we go uh, to the thousand year door and such and so forth. So these are all though in the tree, so we're good here. So let's head out. And our first stop along the way, before we head out of Boggly Woods, is, um, is, uh, Flurry's house. Because there's, there's actually a couple things we can get from there. So let's head over that way. do 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 deep And deep! Oh! Hey, you hear that? Someone's mailing you! Do 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 Okay. Hello? Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me, but please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn more what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. Hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Princess Peach. Aw, isn't that sweet, Mario? Alright. To Flurry's house. Ooh, here we go. Alright. Ignoring enemies, we can just take this and fly up. Here we go. I will say the way that you control the plane now in this newer, in the newer game, it, it's a little more finicky. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a, a dark puff up here. Got him. And he's gone. He get, yep, they're only gonna give one now, cause uh, we uh, we're a little more overpowered for this uh, area. Which I can't wait to find or get the first strike badge, cause Lord knows I could use that to if I, when I need to come back to some of these areas, especially with doing the troubles. Ooh, nice! I actually got the thunderbolt that that guy was holding. Sweet. All right, here we go. I love this. I love the way they they change the environments though for this game. Super cool. Super cool and super fun. I do love it. All right, let's go on in. So here in Flurry's house, we'll actually, we're actually going to head into the back room that we weren't able to go into. I could have gone in here earlier to get this other thing, this chest here, but I figured I'd come back and get the chest, which is super appeal. Basically, this will enhance the uh, how much star power you get when you appeal. And right here, but it's for the partner. And there's the star piece. Sweet. So that, I believe, is currently all the star pieces in, uh, no, it's not all the star pieces in the chapter. Oh, maybe not. Okay. We, it says we're missing a shine sprite. I thought there was one here in Flurry's house, but, hmm. I'm trying to, th hmm, I'm trying to think where that one would be that we missed. I mean, I'll probably, I'll probably use the fortune teller because the fortune teller can find the badges, star pieces, and uh, shine sprites wherever you miss one. So when it comes down to it, once I like 
before when we, before we finish finish off the game entirely, I'll be like, oh hey, I want to check to see where the other shine sprites are. Because like I said, I want to try to get 100%. So let's, we can now leave the forest. Or the woods, I guess. So to avoid the enemies, let's just take the tree way over this way. And fall down. Here we go. We will have to deal with the enemies that were here at the entrance, so... But, I think... If I can just... I can just avoid them and call it good. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Mm-mm. Get out of here, you jerk. Alright. Uh, okay. So now... We need to head to the Thousand Year Door, but before that, we're gonna go around and get some more of the uh, pa hidden panels. Which, speaking of, there's one right here. Sweet. There we go. So let's head out of here. And over here. Just gonna avoid this guy. Let's switch to Flurry because now we can open up this. Look at that treasure chest. Happy Heart P. Similar to the one I have, it will has a chance to slowly restore the uh, the HP of your party member. Which that's also good. Um, we want to go in here where we got the first curse to get the paper airplane. Because in front of the black chest is a flip panel. Look at that. Alright, and then let's take the plane. Let's go. There we go. Here we are. At the thousand year door. Before we place and go up on the pedestal, in front of this pillar right here, is another star piece. We actually missed a star piece I could have gone and, and grabbed, but things were moved around and changed from the original. So, didn't really want to go around the long way, so... But now we can. So if you take the paper airplane over here, and you go across the way here... First off, there's a sh another shine sprite up here, which we can get, and now we have enough to upgrade Flurry all the way. But if we go through here, we are in, well, there's a star piece right behind here, but welcome to, let me, s oh, there's a, I didn't know they put us, they put stuff in here now. Danger, do not enter. This pipe is the entrance to the pit of a hundred trials. First attack and bump attack badges don't work, so beware. That is the big ultimate challenge of this game. We'll be doing the, that near, probably after the main story, because it is the most challenging spot in the game. There is one part wh where I have to do part of it, but, oh, all three of them are here. Now, my little Mario, it's Crystal Star time. This is another thing they added, which I really do like from the original. Having all your party members out here watching as you place the uh, crystal star on the pedestal, and they mo change and move positions as you get more party members and the next star. Because that was not a thing in the original. Before it was whatever partner you were with would, would be out here. But now, because now you can also see the extra sprite they made where your partner face faces uh, away from the camera. Super cool little detail. Love it. Absolutely love it. The, it's, it's the little things. And now that we've we're ready to find the third crystal star, it's gonna make the map more colorful. Which ah, this is one of my favorite chapters in this game. It has always been my favorite chapter in the game, honestly. And yeah. Oh, they made it more. Ooh, okay. Also in the original, it was really hard to tell, and I'll get into that. Um, yeah, I was just thinking about to say I love that they added sprites to the partner's face. Yes. Oh mercy me! The next crystal star has made an entrance. My my my. But correct me if I'm wrong. 
but isn't that isn't it up in the sky? What does that mean? Hmm. Mm. Oh boy, here comes my Frank. Frankly's voice is gonna change throughout the series because I keep forgetting which voice I use for him. <laughs> that means that beneath this town, the thousand year ruins remain intact. And the d that door has been sealed shut for a thousand years by the crystal star. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the crystal stars. Perhaps I'm just daft, but why would they want to seal this treasure away at all? Did they fear thieves and brigands? If not, then what? No, that's not. Hmm? That's not what? I don't know! Frankly, please. I'm sorry, so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed, but the problem is no one, no one's even sure what what it was that caused the town's demise. And that's ri it's written as this: darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more. Assuming the, uh, assuming we'll just make an well, you know the saying. Oh yes, how inappropriate. That's new. In any, in any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Uh, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ost ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bouts. A floating city, you say? So are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. A special blimp flies there and departs from Rogueport several times a day. But the problem is getting a seat. The only way to get tickets is through certain channels. Oh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have a choice. Word right on the street is all the tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. He's west. He head west from Rogueport's main square and you'll reach the side of town controlled by Don Pianta. He's a Pianta syndicate head and I heard he makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. Hmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I can't wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Dion Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Okay. So our mission is now set out. We need to get an audience with... Oh, Coopley, how's life? Mario, Coops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I I have... Oh, wait, this is um his dad, I believe. Hmm. <clears throat> Mario Coops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow. I've been do I've been doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed so boring ten years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you'll like Petalburg more than uh more than than you used to once you get back from your adventure, Coops. So where are you headed next? I want to see I want you to see the whole wide world, son. It'll be good for you. You'll grow, but don't grow too much, or else you might be too tall to fit through the front door. <laughs> from Coopley. And hide and seek from Koopook. What's up, Coops? After you found me, Coops, I found a nice hiding nook at a place called the Crystal Palace. It's so cold, my shell is frosty, but it's a great place for hiding. That is the seventh dungeon from the first Paper Mario, up on top of Shiver Mountain. Obviously, I don't want anyone to find me, but the thing is, I do want people to see how good I am at hiding. You see the bind I'm in? Anyway, spread the word. Come find the wandering hide and seek Koopa. See you later, or not. Yours, Koopook. Nice. Okay, so our mission is set out to us. We need to find Don Pianta and figure out how to get a ticket to, to, ticket to the blimp. So, I want to upgrade Coops and Flurry. Uh, Alright, let's power up Flurry since she's right here. Yep. Shazibi! Shazubi! I also like the animation where they gave Merlin hands. Because this little sprite work with Merlin being like, Oh! That's new. Nice. Care to power up more? Yes. Oops. Shazibi! Shazubi! And we'll just skip it, yeah, because we saw the animation. Yay! Uh, we can't power up anyone else, because we don't have anyone else. Alright, cool. Oops. Yeah. So, Flurry has Lip Lock. And Coops has the Shell Shield. So, first, before we do... 
too much else, what also I want to do is head to the Trouble Center. Because after every chapter, there will be new troubles that are that come about. Help my daddy, Lala, and Life Mushroom. Oh. Okay. So, help my daddy. This was my exception. I need you to save my dad. I'll be waiting at the entrance to the pit of a hundred trials beneath Rogue Port. If you help me, I'll give you a treasure's reward. And remember, card for Beyond to Parlor. Alright, we gotta go save Pine Tea Senior. This is what I was saying when I said I would do part of the pit of a hundred trials. But not fully. Because this trouble where you need to go help Pine Tea Junior's dad. Whew. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, hey, look! It's Luigi. Let's hear his story first before we go endure the pit. Well, I went to Rumbabump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. It was a pretty harrowing, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. Yeah, let's hear Rumblebump. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I sent out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through dense jungle. A scary beast were all over. More than once, I thought I was done for, bro. I must have screamed a bit to scare them off, you know, but as fate would have it. A blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found, found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now Bluey's a madman. Back back in his hometown, they call him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fight to Rumble Bump Volcano. The place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. Yep, everyone's napping. The scariest one was this gigantic hundred foot tall statue that stomped around. Now the weakness of this giant statue, bro, was a giant gem on its forehead. Now I can jump high, but not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with a plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. All you, man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movement and hucked Bluey up there. And Bullseye, the white torpedo saved the day. The jewel got whacked. Also, I like how Luigi has little animations as he's uh, telling his story. It was a critical hit, and the stone... Bluey before blue Bluey was a thing. Indeed. It was a critical hit, and that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to, bro to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. And now the compass pointed west to a plump belly village on the Strudel Continent. So I set the sails once again and came back here to Rogueport to recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. Wanna hear about some- nope. Okay, we're good. If you wanna hear- yep. Alright, let's talk to Bluey. Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy is a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I am landing in lava. Lava, man! You know that feels good? You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You pay, Luigi! Mm. Yeesh. Oh, Professor Frankly. A must-have badge. Hey, Mario, still working hard? Professor Frankly here in e-form again. There's something I forgot to tell you. I highly recommend that you look into obtaining a first ba uh, certain badge. It's called First Attack. If you have that badge equipped, you can take care of weak foes with First Strike instead of fully battling out. The Bad Shop Rookport has available first... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good, 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 good. I want to show you about getting that badge. That way, I've went with going back and forth to old areas, I can just, like, go through... Uh... Go through, uh... Just easily take out the enemies and don't have to worry. Alright, let's see here. Ah, there it is. First... Ooh, 100? Ugh. Ugh. That's alright. I'll go for it. I need zero BP to wear it? Heck yeah, dude! Yay! Also, I love little animations. What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay, Sleepy Stomp, Last Stand, Close Call, Close Call P, Pretty Lucky P, Happy Flower, FP Drain, Unsimplifier. Okay. Um... Power Rush is attack power by two when you have HP two or less. Super appeal. Action bands are easier. Uh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna hold off because I, I need to be able to pay some, something here in, in a little bit. Uh, also, I believe... Oh, let's read this. x knots terrorizing Bogley Woods have withdrawn. Just what was their motive? And behind here, graffiti corner. 
Whatever happened to that squishy little puny guy? I miss him, Smith. Toadette, the animal lover. Aww. Is... no, not yet. Okay. 